Welcome to the Wealth and Wellness All Women Rock podcast, hosted by me, Tamara, the CEO and founder of All Women Rock Global. Join me on this journey as we explore topics, conversations, and interviews related to wealth and wellness. Let's get started. Hey girl, hey, welcome back to another episode of the Wealth and Wellness Podcast by All Women Rock Global. On today, we're picking up our series, Meeting in the Ladies Room. If you're new to the podcast or new to this series, Meeting in the Ladies Room actually came from a very old song called Meeting in the Ladies Room, but I wanted to do a podcast segment where I just talk about things that might be on my heart, where we can kind of come in the ladies room, talk about it, discuss it, and come back out. So on today's Meeting in the Ladies Room, I'm going to be talking about what will it take? What will it take for another woman to be shared in a better light and not just always on television fighting and arguing with one another? I kind of, I'm going to go back and say, I kind of, I came up with this idea, just kind of seeing how lately, how, not even lately, I've always had this, um, idea of just wanting to see women being portrayed in a better light than always fighting and arguing with one another with me having a woman owned business where I am interacting with women on a daily basis or within our events, our online courses or workshops. It just is mind boggling to me. The different stories that I hear or even for myself, different women that I'm associated with or I encounter just like, hmm, we could do better. So I just was thinking, what will it take for us to portray one another in a better light? What does it take? What will it take for women in business that try to display sisterhood and women empowerment to truly mean what they say and not just do it for money in their pocket or ticket sales? We often say, or we often see women, I'm doing this for sisterhood. I'm doing this for womanhood. But like, is it truly who you are? If I was able to pull some people on the side that know you, would they say she really is for that or she just doing it to hype women, hype women up, get them to her event, get her sponsors, get vendors? Like, is that truly who you are? Do you turn your nose up when you see another woman walk past? Do you give her a half ass speak when you see someone? Like, is that truly who you are? What will it take for a sister, a friend, a colleague, To not just say, I'll pray for you when you know you got the means to help her out. This one, as they say, really (laughs) chaps my heart. I I, I can't stand when I hear someone say that. And I, you know, it's it's one thing to say it and truly pray for that person. But it's another thing just to say it and know that you can help that person, but you don't. Like, do you truly pray for them? I can say, since I hate it so much, I will pray. I will stop and just start praying for them. But I just hate when you know that you have the means to help someone, but you won't do it. Just say, I pray for you. I hate that. What will it take for women to stop just getting these self-esteem boosts by posting online their designer purses, their handbags. I I get it. I understand the influencers do it because they have to do it for money. I get that. I'm all for it. But if you're just doing it just to be doing it, like, what do you get out of that? Maybe some of you guys can write me or email me and just let me know the purpose behind it because maybe I'm not seeing it in a better light. Maybe I should be looking at it differently, but I just don't get it. For me, if I'm going to show you anything that I have, I want to show you how I got it so you can get it too. What do we get about showing people that? Just a little food for thought. What will it take for us women to stop turning our nose up at one another because another woman does not look like us, talk like us, sound like us, or come from the same background as us? What will it take for us to stop doing that? We have more in common than you think. What will it take for us to stop trying to one-up one another? What I mean by this is, 
if I have something and you come back and say, well, I got something better. I tell you, I have a 2010 Mercedes. And then you tell me I got a 2020 Mercedes instead of, instead of congratulating me, what will it take for us to stop doing that? Like, what do you get by doing, doing that? What will it take for us to stop thinking another woman is weak or assuming she's weak or assuming the load that she is carrying is not that heavy because you've been in worse situations? What will it take? What will it take for us to stop creating a narrative about one another based on one encounter with one with another woman without knowing what was on her mind, what she was experiencing or what she might have been going through? We are quickly to create a narrative about another woman without fully knowing what's going on. Maybe she was had something on her mind. Maybe she's currently going through something. Maybe she's trying to figure out she's going to pay a bill. And you've taken her little half wave as though she's snooty. She thinks she's this. She thinks she's that. And every time you see her, you're going to come back with that same narrative. What will it take for us to stop doing that? What will it take for us to pull that woman to the side and say, hey, I noticed when I said this or when I did this, you reacted this way. I just want to make sure I didn't get the wrong impression by this. What will it take for us to stop that? What will it take for us to realize we have more in common than we think? What will it take for us to stop gloating in another woman's hardship and her misery? What will it take for us to realize your friend, your sister, your colleague, might be in a pretty jacked up situation today, but it could very well be you tomorrow. So stop looking down and judging her. Hell, she might be doing the best she can with what little she has. Well, what will it take for us to see how soon we forget? It's a real life thing. Life and karma take score. So be careful how you treat one another. I actually, I'm going to be honest, I had to call myself out on this. One day I was out somewhere and I saw this lady put a particular outfit on. I was like, why would she put those boots with the outfit? I didn't see the correlation. It wasn't mixed patterns, mixed prints or anything. I just didn't see it. And I just had to catch myself and say, what if that's all she had in her closet? I had to give her grace. When we start giving each other grace, like, you don't know what she went through, what hell she had to go through to get ready in the morning. I had to really check myself. We have to be willing to give another woman grace. You never know what they're going through and you never know how life comes back around and you never know how karma comes back around. What will it take for us to not listen to our friend, sister, cry about her problems on the phone? And two minutes later, you're on the phone with somebody else telling what she just told you. Girl, let me tell you, what will it take for you truly to listen to her and help her if you can and just be there for her and not judge her situation? What will it take for us to just not be there in a moment when our sister is going through something and we think her storm has passed her by? So we think she's she's okay. What will it take to show up again when the storm has passed? Just make sure she's okay and to let her know that you are there for her. What will it take? Does this have to hit you in the face for you to realize none of this is okay? We have to do better, ladies. Do we have to experience all of these scenarios for us to snap out of it? No, we are not perfect. And yes, we are all human. But what will it take for us to link arms up with our sisters on the same journey next to us? Reach forward for the woman ahead of us and keep our hand out for the woman behind us. What will it take? I am very, very well aware of past hurt, current trauma, current hurt. Poor generational habits that have been passed on from our parents, our grandparents. And I know sometimes for women and men, when you haven't been exposed to anything different, when it comes to loving, helping, 
nurturing, support another woman, you will repeat this cycle and pass these piss poor habits on to your children and your grandchildren. I'm aware of that. But when does it stop? When is it no longer okay? Hurt people, hurt people will forever be a true statement. How do we create another narrative for women than what's portrayed on TV? That we're catty, we get involved in a lot of gossip, we bring each other down and hate to see another woman succeed. When is that no longer the narrative for us? You might be thinking, Tamara, what do you think it will take? I don't know, but I'm on a mission to make a difference one person at a time, one woman at a time. It's part of the reason that I started Memphis Women Rock, which later developed into All Women Rock. I wanted diversity and I got exactly that. I wanted to show that if I can have, if I can have a seat at the table, I'm going to make one and invite other women that feel like me to sit at my table and then give them the skills to build one, build their own table through our online courses, our workshops, our events, whatever it may be. There's enough for all of us to eat. There's enough for all of us to show another woman how to build her own table. Anytime I host an event, I never come in telling people who I am, um, especially if I'm in like a networking event. I speak and join in the small talk conversations. I remember one time in particular at this event, it was a, young, a lady that I saw. I spoke to her. She kind of didn't quite speak, kind of threw her hand up. So I went to the table to speak to my friend and she walked over there. She knew my friend. And as they were kind of talking, again, she didn't really acknowledge me in a conversation. She was just talking to my friend. Later on, my friend said, hey, she's the owner of this. And she was like, oh, I didn't know that. Hey, girl, why you didn't say anything? Like, why does it take all of that just for me to get a hello? I truly do not get it. I don't know what it would take for us to stop feeling like we can only associate, speak, or acknowledge women that's on the same scale as us. What will it take? My mom always taught me it could be me today. It could be you tomorrow. Treat people how you want to be treated. Again, I am aware some of us were raised like this, but the, it this does not make it okay. We have to come to a point where we break these generational habits and treat women as women and give each other grace. We all go through things. You never know what type of impact you can have on another woman just by speaking to her, complimenting her hair, her nails, or simply just not looking down on her. What do we get by doing that? What do you achieve by speaking ill of another woman or talking negative about her? How does that help you in any way? Or is it simply just hurt women, hurt women? I often wonder if this is a just a South thing or do women in the Midwest, East Coast, West Coast, or maybe even international, do they experience this? Or is the environment totally different what will it take because i'm truly tired of seeing it all women rock will be a place you can learn about wealth wellness through our curated events community and content our mission will always continue to be to provide space for diversity and inclusion that's it for our meeting in the ladies room segment And I want you to stay tuned for another episode of the Wealth and Wellness Podcast. Ladies, we have to do better. Show another woman grace on today. If you've made it this far in the episode, it shows you are interested and committed. If you want more of Wealth and Wellness, tune in every Tuesday for a new episode. I would love for you to subscribe and share. Your experience on this show means a lot to me. I want to welcome you to click the link in the show notes to leave us a comment or a question. It's speakpipe.com slash allwomenrock. The link is listed in the show notes. You never know, you just might be on our next episode. Be sure to follow us on all social media channels at allwomenrock. Until next time.